Good morning, everyone. This is Brandon with ExpeditiousFool.com, putting mindfulness in motion. And here we are with the Lightworkers card pool. And today we have the Five of Swords. Now I'm using the Morgan Greer deck today. Uh, looks like that. And particularly with the Five of Swords, what really calls out to me in this particular imagery for us today, for us Lightworkers, that community that's out there doing the work every day, raising that consciousness transcending the ego, um, not buying into the fear-based mentality, regardless the community, whether it's, you know, mainstream, whether it's a spiritual community, whether it's, it's whatever type of community you're involved in, you're transcending all of that, right? And that's what this card's really speaking out to me right now. We're in the midst of the uh, Lionsgate portal. So with that, um, there's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of energy. There's a lot of manifestation, so this card particularly, you can see the people, you can see the person standing here. He has the three swords collected. It looks pretty confident as well. You can see these people over here, they kind of have their heads down and the swords are, are down crossed in the, uh, in the sand. What this is telling you, this, this, this is speaking out as far as an energy exchange. There's two types of ways you can be in the world. You can be dynamic, right? You can be projecting your energy, you can be confident, you can be making things happen for yourself, and therefore you fall into a flow regardless of 3Ds. So regardless of income status, regardless of whether something went bad, regardless of whether something just totally got destroyed, you have that confidence level to carry on because you know that no matter what, you're in touch with source because that's proper use of the energy. You plug in, so you've got that, you've got that backing. This individual can walk confidently. Also, you notice these individuals, they each had one sword. They, they were not hold, they can't even hold on to. This individual is managing three swords, not a problem. It's all on how the focus is obtained, right? Where it's using its energy. Now, on the flip side, this can happen as well. You see these faces here? These people, they're either, they're not using their energy, which means their energy is being drained somewhere right? And that's the point. When we start developing health issues in our body, how that relates to the energy is because we're not living our fulfilled, fulfilled purpose. The brain starts causing things when you're, you decide not to live your fulfilled purpose. When you don't trust in full faith, it starts causing physiological issues. I know I definitely suffered a lot of it in my life. And what it is, is you have to learn how to break through those fears. That's why it gives you the pain. Yes, pain is there to teach us something. But pain is there to teach us something deeper than the symptom in our body that we feel. That's the part we stop at most of the time. We stop at that symptom of the pain, the, the uncomfortable in the body, right? And we want to fix it right away. You know, whether that's a physical pain, mental pain, emotional pain. And it's all about, and, and the way that we maintain this system, we maintain this energy determines how we project our energy to others because it'll give us further understandings, different understandings of others, how we relate, um, when our energy is being depleted and taken from somebody, when we're giving too much of our energy without it even being asked for. And these different plays come, come about, right? And you want to make sure that your energy if you have goals to accomplish, you want to make sure your energy, if you want to live fulfilled lives, you want to make sure your energy, if you really want to see what it is to transcend that, that unhappy um, longing feeling that, that sits with most humans, if you really want to transcend that, that's all about energy management. And that's what this card's telling you. There's two different types. There's two different ways. And really, that's, that's essentially it. I mean, we categorize it and we make ourselves feel self-righteous by following different paths and things like that um, or, or not following a path and going straight up in our brain, right? And we identify more with self. We, we lock more in with self. However, ultimately, it's that surrender to the process, that surrender to the control we can learn how to control all kinds of things in all different ways, but that learning is taking energy. Then doing those different ways is taking energy versus letting everything that's going to happen flow 
And that is where the, the big power comes in. Because then all of the people that aren't using their energy, you get their energy, right? Because it goes into the pool. It goes into the pool for the conscious creators. The conscious creators. Everybody else leaves unfulfilled. There's two types of people. Make your choice, folks. All right, I hope that wasn't too harsh of a message today, but I hope y'all understood more about the energy dynamics. All right, thank you all so much. You go out there and have a great day on purpose.